Hi, my name is Aubrey Hunt. I'm in the Sunny Beach 4-H Club, and this is how I do my rabbit showmanship routine. What you're going to do is you're going to place your rabbit on the table gently and pose him or her. You pose every rabbit breed differently based on their body type. He's a hollow knot, so his body type is compact with a high head mount. So I kind of push his head up and squish his body together to make it compact. And after your rabbit is posed, you're going to do your introduction and take a step back away from the table. If your rabbit moves, you can step forward again and repose the rabbit. My introduction is, hi, my name is Aubrey Hunt. I've been in the Study Beats 4-H Club for eight years. I'm 13 years old, and this is my first year showing rabbits. This is my black tour, Junior Buck, Cullen Lop. His body type is compact with a high head mount, and his name on his pedigree is Duke. The first thing we're gonna check is his ear. His ear tattoo number is RV2. And in the ears, we're checking for any signs of mites, canker, mites are kinker and he doesn't have mites because he doesn't have any dandruff on the inside of his ear he doesn't have ear kinker sores or scabs because he's a hollow knob his ear carriage is lopped thickness color we're looking for any torn or missing portions and we're checking the fur covering then you have to turn your rabbit to the other side and check the other ear for the same things. Mites, kinker, carriage, thickness, color, torn and missing portions, and fur covering. And when you're looking at a part on the rabbit, you're gonna show the judge what part you're looking at. So if you're checking the fur covering, you're going to fold the ear back down and just kind of feel the fur on the top. Now this part is a little more tricky for beginners. You have to flip your rabbit. What you do is you put this finger in between the ears and put your thumb and this finger around the ears. Then you use these three fingers in the back to grab the scruff. Then you take your other hand and support the rabbit's body. You lift up with the hand that's on the scruff and you push in with the hand that's supporting the body. Now you check the eyes. You're gonna gently roll, this, remove the skin, and you're gonna check for proper color, blindness, walleye, moon eye, weepy eye, or any signs of conjunctivitis. Because he's a black tort, his eye color should be brown, a dark brown, and his eyes are a dark brown. Then you have to turn, the, you have to face the rabbit or the other eye towards the judge and do the same thing. You're checking for blindness, or proper color, blindness, walleye, moon eye, weep eye, or any signs of conjunctivitis. Now you're gonna check the nose. When you check the nose, you're just gonna gently touch the top of the nose because then the nose kind of moves back and you can see better. You're checking the nose for snuffles, nasal discharge, or any foreign spots or colors. And when rabbits have snuffles or nasal discharge, they wipe it on the insides of their paws. So we're going to feel the insides of his paws for any wet, matted, or crusty fur. And then after that, you're going to check the teeth. You kind of make a C with your fingers and lift up to show uh, the teeth. And this way your rabbit can't bite you. And you're going to check for malocclusion, buck teeth, wolf teeth, peg teeth, any missing or broken teeth. And you can throw in a fact that rabbits have 28 teeth total. Now you're going to check the front feet and legs. And there's a proper thumb position that you have to do. You put these fingers like behind the paw and you push your thumb in to the pad of the foot. One, two, three, four, do claw. One, two, three, four, 
do claw and you have to use your pointer finger to show the judge that you're checking for any uh, like broken extra or missing toes and you have to say I'm checking for broken extra or missing toes mismatched white or missing toenails but because he's a black tort he shouldn't have white toenails and he doesn't if he did that would be a disqualification um, we're checking the bone density straightness and you kind of just have to gently like really gently pull the leg out like up towards their face um, you're checking for both of his or her dew claws and you're feeling the pads for any matted fur then after that you check the abdomen you're feeling for any abscess tumors abnormalities pigeon breast which is like a v-shape in the rib cage uh, you're feeling for any blemishes or mastitis which is an infection of the mammary glands after you do that you're gonna check the rear feet and legs one two three four one two three four we're checking for any broken extra or missing toes mismatched white or missing toenails bone density straightness and sore hocks your rabbit can get sore hocks from sitting on rough surfaces for too long or because of a, something dirty like a cage floor or yeah That's why you have a resting mat in their cage so that they don't get sore hocks. Then you have to check the sex of the rabbit. What I do is I take my middle finger and my pointer finger and I kind of like almost pinch the tail and then pull it down and then use my thumb to like uncover the fur and then you kind of have to push and then pull the tail down with this hand and push down and pull with your thumb opposite directions and then you're gonna see if it's a buck or a doe he's a buck and then you have to check to see if his testicles have descended there's one and there's the second one and you have to say um, we're gonna check if he's a buck or a doe as you can see he's a buck um, we're checking for vent disease, Hutchburn, split penis, or descended testicles. And then if they haven't, just say that they haven't descended yet. If they have, then you say they did. Then after you check the gender of the rabbit, you're going to check the tail. You're checking for rye, dead, bobbed, broken, color, and straightness of the tail. Then after you check the tail, you're going to flip your rabbit back over and then pose it again. Okay, now you're going to check the fur of the rabbit. You're checking the density, texture, sheen, luster. You're going to see if the fur is rollback flyback, rex, standing, or wool. He's a hall muff, and he has rollback fur with luster. Only certain breeds have different fur types, like satin, mini satin, and satin angora have the sheen fur. Mini rex and rex have the rex type of fur. And um, the angoras, the American fuzzy lop, and the jersey woolly have a wool type of fur. Then after you check the fur, you're gonna move on to judging comments. This is a cool thing in showmanship because it's you sharing your knowledge about your rabbit's breed and how it should look based on the standard of perfection. He is a cute little buck. He has good width between the eyes and a big head. I like his crown. His ears are really good actually. They have a good shape. His crown might be a little bit slipped. 
He's wide in the chest. He has thick bone. He's wide from his shoulders to his hindquarters. He's a really good buck, actually. And then after you finish your judging comments, you're going to say, this concludes my rabbit challenge presentation. Are there any questions? And then the judge will ask you some questions. Depending on your age, the questions will differ. It They get more difficult when you're older. So, so some questions for primaries might be like way easier than for other age groups. What do you anticipate a primary question would be? I don't know. What breed your rabbit is? Yeah. What color is it? Simple questions like that. What does variety mean? You. Yeah. So, do you want to say what variety means? Variety is basically the color group of your rabbit. He's a solid black tort, so he's in the solid color group. And what is a broken rabbit? A broken rabbit is a rabbit that is like almost white all over, except it has more than 10% of color. So it's basically just like, um, kind of like splotches the color everywhere on the body of that rabbit. Okay. Anything else you would like to add? Nope. Thank you for doing this. Yep.